Hello everyone, welcome once again to another SpaceX Updates video. Today, we are going to see the upcoming launches of SpaceX, updates from Starbase, and the historic lunar flyby of NASA's Orion spacecraft. So, let's start the video. SpaceX is set to launch two missions within a span of about 18 hours. First, it's Eutelsat 10B mission from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida tonight. Liftoff is currently scheduled for 9.57 p.m. Eastern Time. The next one is NASA's cargo resupply mission to the ISS, CRS-26 mission from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The Dragon 2 spacecraft for this mission will be a brand new one and maybe the last cargo Dragon capsule, built by SpaceX. Currently, four Crew Dragon spacecraft and two cargo Dragons are in operation. According to SpaceX officials, a fifth and possibly the final human-rated Dragon spacecraft is in production. SpaceX feels these eight spacecraft will be enough to meet all future needs. We have some bad news for these two launches. In the next few days, weather forecasts predict overcast conditions over the space coast with light rains. Currently, the Eutelsat mission has only 30% favorable weather conditions, and the same is for tomorrow's CRS-26 mission. Let us wait for the official announcements from SpaceX. The Sky God has not been so kind at Starbase 2 in the last few days. Not many engineers are seen at the launch site due to rough weather conditions. Although possible road closure schedules are posted, the road is still open. As we go into a holiday break later this week with Thanksgiving, I am not expecting any tests until next week. SpaceX is working on laying new concrete floor under the orbital launch mount after last week's static fire test. Cladding work on the orbital launch integrated tower has already started. We are expecting to see the cladding up to at least the third segment of the tower before the orbital test flight. After traveling more than five days into space, NASA's Artemis 1 mission achieved a huge milestone today. The Orion spacecraft successfully performed an outbound powered flyby of the moon just 81 miles above its surface. This was such a historic moment that a human-rated spacecraft returned to the moon this close nearly after 50 years. At the time of the flyby, the Orion spacecraft was more than 230,000 miles from the Earth. The spacecraft will spend a few weeks in the lunar orbit testing out various payloads and experiments collecting valuable data from many systems. Artemis 1 is a stepping stone for the Artemis 2 mission which will fly astronauts around the moon on a similar journey as the Artemis 1 but not that close to the lunar surface. Exciting times are ahead, and humanity's advancement in science and technology will enable our species to go back to the moon again. Looks like the science is working out, humans will return to the moon soon but this time not to visit but to stay. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video.